Hello, good day. I am John Michael P. Aval, and here's my presentation for statistics. First, we have the definition of terms. We have statistic as a discipline that concerns the collection, organization, analysis, interpretation, and presentation of the data. In applying statistics to a scientific, industrial, or social problem, it is also conventional to begin with a statistical population or statistical model to be studied. Statistic as a noun is the practice or science of collecting and analyzing numerical in large quantities, especially for the purpose of interfering proportion in a whole from those in a representative sample. We have also statistical treatment of data. This is when you apply some of the form of statistical method to a data that is said to transform in a group of meaningless numbers into a meaningful output. On the next slide, we have data. This is made up of raw numbers that is typically with many variables. These numbers often came from research that was conducted as a part of a study or survey and are a primary source. Variable, on the other hand, is any characteristic, number, or quantity that can be measured or counted. A parameter is also a number that describes a whole population, whereas statistic is a number that describes a sample. Okay, right now, we have the differentiation of parameter and a sample. Parameter is the data collected from the entire population, whereas in statistic, it is the data collected from a sample of the group that is being studied. Let's put example, the whole Norsunian stu student body, whereas it is considered as a parameter because it involves the whole Norsunian students. And on the statistics, we have a sample which considers the students that is residing only in Dumaguete City. Okay, based on the instruction given last Saturday, here I'll be presenting is a sample thesis where it involves statistical terms and also the treatment of statistical data. In chapter 3, in research methodology, so this chapter presents the research design, population, and sample of the study research instrument, also data gathering procedures, and the statistical treatment of data. On the research design, the study was used a descriptive survey method, and it is used to assess social demographic profiles such as sex, age, parents, educational attainment, the parents' occupation, the size of the income, and the top three express career choices the preference of the students in choosing a career and anticipated problems that affect the career choices of senior high school students of SPC and HS school year 2010 till 2011. So given we have sex and age as a, an example of variables that was explained by Sir last Saturday, so, descriptive research is a purposive process of data gathering, analyzing, classifying, and tabulating data about prevailing conditions, practices, beliefs, processes, trends, and also cause-effect relationship, and then an adequate and accurate interpretation about such data with or without the aid of statistical treatment. On the population and sample of the study, the respondent of the study came from the SPC and HS, and also random sampling was used that selects randomly. So this means that there are only samples from different strata of the population. It's not the whole student body of the SPC and HS was being surveyed, but only a part of it. We have the research instrument. It is used as a researcher made questionnaire checklist to gather the DINA data for the student's profile. The draft of the questionnaire was drawn out based on the researcher's readings, previous studies, professional literature, published and unpublished thesis relevant to the study, or other call it the review of related literature. In the preparation of the instrument, the requirements in the designing of good data collection instrument were considered. 
For instance, statement describing the situation or issues pertaining was toned down to accommodate the knowledge preparedness of the respondents. Open-ended options was also provided to accommodate a free formulated views that is related to the topic or issues. In this way, the instrument is authorized to obtain valid responses of the students. Preference for the use of the structured questionnaire is premised on several research assumptions such as the cost of being least expensive means of gathering the data. On the preference for the use of the structured questionnaire that is premised on several research assumptions such as we have on A, the cost of being least expensive means of gathering the data, on B, the avoidance of personal bias, C, less pressure for immediate response and giving the re respondents a greater feeling of anonymity. In the end, it encouraged open responses to a sensitive issues at hand. In addition, the instrument was also validated by a few consultant and former professors before it laid on the study. On the data gathering procedure or the process of get getting the data, the first step before going to the testing proper is to make a request letter. An approval, the researcher retrieves the request letter. The principal as well as the class advisors and other faculty members were selected in the administration. In administering the questionnaire, the researcher was used the time allotted for vacant to avoid distraction for the class discussion. The students' responses were given enough time. Under the treatment of data, the responses made by students describing their social demographic profile, preference of choosing their career, and an anticipated problems were presented. For instance, sex, age, parents' educational attainment, the parents' occupation, so this was also applied for the top three career choices of the student's preference in making his career choice. In providing overall picture of the social demographic profile and career preference, as well as an anticipated problem in pursuing their studies and its effect on students, summary of the presentations will also be presented. So the preview right now is the sex. We have one for male, two for female, age, 1, 14, 15, 2 is 16 to 17, and 3 is 18 and above. For the educational attainment, we have 1 for elementary and 2 for second. On the conclusion, the statistical treatment of data, the responses to the questionnaire by senior high school students were statistically analyzed with the data requirements of the study. Students were statistically analyzed with the data instruments of the study and there is a descriptive statistic such as frequency count, mean, percent, and the rank are considered.